previously on making my house a home. So I'm not gonna run any other water upstairs for the next few days, but the vanities. And we're gonna monitor the ceiling while we do that. So I have a mini confession. I don't know if you call it a confession. Look, look, look. I just want to share something with y'all. I'm not fully living in the house just yet. I'm not moved all the way in. All my stuff is still in storage. But I'm sleeping here. I'm showering at Liz's. It's a whole thing. And my little plumbing experiment is actually going pretty good. Like the vanities don't create leaks. I don't think. So far, so good. But I still haven't used the water here. I think it's just gonna take little steps for me to be able to do that and feel comfortable. I think the way these people was living, y'all, just kind of got me turned off to wanting to shower in tubs and stuff. I gotta like clean those thoroughly multiple times, re grout and stuff before I can feel comfortable with that. This could be completely a mental thing, okay? Follow me, follow me. It's just the thought of stepping in the shower barefoot, even after I've cleaned it. Laying in the tub, booty naked in the house, even though I've cleaned it. I'm just scared. Somebody please comment something that's gonna help me mentally. I just feel like it all needs to be recalked, reglazed before I feel comfortable. Realistically, it's not gonna happen, you know, right now. So, um, any suggestions? <laughs> I know, it's all in my mind. Help. But on top of that, the water quality, I think I shared with y'all when we were first like looking at the house, turning on the water, when the water came on, it was the sulfur, rotten egg smell, and doing like my research, even the inspector let me know that when pipes aren't ran through and water's not running for a very long time, that can get backed up and it can create that sulfur smell. But as you run your water, it should go away, which it has. I'm very thankful for that. Um, but I haven't even washed my hands for y'all. I haven't washed my hands. I don't feel comfortable washing my face because I don't know the quality of the water. So I'm just, I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. <laughs> and while I did have somebody actually come out to like test the water, do their whole spiel, try to sell me softeners and all that, he wasn't able to complete it because I don't have running water in my kitchen yet and they prefer it coming from a main source of water. So we postponed it. I do still plan to kind of have it professionally checked eventually, but because like the sulfur smell went away completely um, and the water has been running normally, you know, I decided to do a test run, like a little cost efficient water test on my own at home. First of all, who do you think you are? <laughs> so let me show you what we got and I'm gonna do it with y'all. I'm glad I got this so we can kind of start, get a beginning idea of what my water is like, the quality. Hopefully we don't find nothing too crazy. This is again, just a basic test of like bacteria, nitrate, copper, stuff like that. I'm not even gonna pretend to know like all that, but we're gonna test it. If you're not familiar with this channel, I wanna welcome you. I have purchased my first home and it is somewhat of a fixer upper, has great bones, has great potential, but was not taken care of at all. So I have been documenting my entire process of making this house my own home. And this is just a next level of where we are in the process. So if you are interested in that at all, I got a whole playlist of everything I've been doing from plumbing to light fixtures to this and that. I've done so much of it on my own and there's so, 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 so much more to do. Um, if that's something that you enjoy, feel free to subscribe, join the family. I hope to share my journey and hope that it helps somebody, teaches you something, gives you good vibes. That's all we got going on over here. Let me shut up, show you this water test. <laughs> all right, so here's a water test that I purchased, health metric purchased, okay? This is not sponsored. I ordered this off of Amazon. It has some pretty good reviews. These are the things that it will test. Lead, bacteria. The bacteria one is the one I'm really looking forward to. pH, we know, <laughs> yeah, keep that pH right. Total alkalinity, copper, total hardness. I'm in Florida, so I'm fully aware my water is already hard, um, but interested to know how hard. That's what she said. Chlorine, nitrate, nitrate. Oh, nitrate and nitrite. Don't know anything about that, but we're gonna find out today. 
All right. All right, let's get this baby open. Doing this with one hand. Don't judge me. Comes with the instruction booklet. This is the bacteria test one and it takes the longest. Have to put water in it, shake it up, and let it sit for 48 hours. So I'm probably gonna just do this part first, get it out of the way. I literally had to go buy a glass because again, I'm not moved in here completely just yet. I'm living on a blow up bed as we speak. Don't even have countertops as you can see. But anywho, that's neither here nor there. I'm gonna rinse this cup out and fill up with water. So let me not get ahead of myself. Let me read some of this first and foremost because it tells you to make sure you have everything that's in the kit. Let's do that. So we have the lead test. We have one, whoa, we have one copper test. We have two three-way pH, total alkalinity, and total hardness. Interesting, so it's gonna tell me all three of these in one, okay. We have two chlorine tests. We have two nitrate and nitrite tests. Oh yeah, this strip has multiple colors. That's why there's several in one strip. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I could be a little slow sometimes. And of course we have the bacteria test. So it does have everything in the packet as it should. Give you all, give you all me. Without touching the inside of the cap, remove it and carefully fill the bottle to the shoulder. Do not overflow it. So this is the shoulder of the bottle. So let's do this part first. So. Here's what it looks like. It's like a purplish hue, okay? So we let this sit for 48 hours, place the cap bottle in a room, temperature range of 68 to 90 degrees. We keep it at a cool 75 in this house. But as you can see, what it says is, if it's purple in 48 hours, no harmful bacteria were detected in the sample. And if it's yellow, it's highly likely that harmful Coliform bacterias are present. Oh, y'all. That makes me nervous. But we'll check on you in 48 hours. It is Sunday, October the 11th at 6.04 p.m. So Monday, Tuesday, we're gonna check Tuesday at six. So what's next? Let's do the lead test because I think that takes a little bit longer too. So for the lead test, we open the foil pouch and take out the contents. The test contains one lead strip, sample vial, dropper, pipe it. Okay, so let's take everything out in the packet. Add the packet. Okay, so using the pipette, only add one pipette full of water in the vial. Okay, do 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 do. So it looks like you take the strip out first, okay. Hope I'm doing this right. So you're supposed to squeeze this Right, let water get into it. Get the water into here. I'm confused because I'm just gonna follow the instructions because this don't look like a lot of water, but okay. Following the instructions. So it says, wait 10 minutes. Do not disturb the strip or vial during this time. 10 minutes. Put the phone. Oh God, I'm panicking. Oh, where's my phone? Okay, here we go. It is 6.09, we'll be back at six. Meanwhile, I'm gonna just refill this cup, even though I think it's still, you know, not contaminated. We're gonna start with copper. John's copper, blah, blah, blah. So I'm focusing on not really touching anything directly. Who's that? It's only the side is what I'm gripping. That's what she said. <laughs> so this is copper. One, two, three, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. Remove the strip and shake once. Shaked it. Okay, so we're gonna wait 30 seconds. Seven, eight, nine, ten. What y'all think? I'm thinking we're looking like this here. So yeah, that looks Pretty spot on, right? Between here and here. The health effects for copper, it says liver and kidney damage. And the EPA maximum level is 1.3. I was at about 0 0.05. All right, I'm learning too. Cool. All right, so let's check the pH, total alkalinity, and total chlorine and hardness. 
That's all of those in one. All right, let's do it. Okay, this is the three way. This is the threesome. <laughs> Says to dip one strip, gently swirl for five seconds, okay? One, two, eight. Shake it once to remove the excess water. Wait 20 seconds. pH is about 6.5. It's kind of like in the middle there. Now the alkaline seems kind of high-ish, maybe around mid here, I'm thinking. Yeah, the alkaline's about here. It's so about between 240 and 500. I already knew the hardness wasn't gonna be too low because I'm in Florida. So we're probably about here on hardness. Yeah, so let's see what it should be. pH may reload if total alkalinity is <laughs> pH may reload if total alkalinity is less than 80. pH ideal is between 6.5 and 8.5, which is exactly where I was. The health effects for pH is acidic pH causes pipe corrosion and heavy metal leaching from plumbing. So I do have a good pH in my water, okay? Hardness between 10 and 100 um, causes mineral scale, clogs, faucets, damages water heaters. 10 to 100 milligrams is good on hardness like I said I was kind of here think I'm okay probably like right towards the top not quite all the way over to brown but still mid oranges alkalinity 75 to 150 low alkalinity is associated with acidic pH and corrosion my alkalinity is pretty high towards the 500 but I'm confused because it says EPA maximum level 10 to 100. I'm gonna have to do my own research on like what it should be, but I'm pretty sure my alkalinity being high was actually a good thing. Oh, I almost forgot. We about 13 minutes late on this. Ooh, but um, here's the results for the, which one was this? Lead. Here's the results for the lead test, okay? All right, so here's the result for the lead test. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a solid line on the number one, a faint line on the number two, which is good. It's a negative result. If you can see if it was a solid line on two and a faint line on one, that's positive. Or if it was solid lines on both, um, that's a positive result. So, so no lead, y'all. Hallelujah. Y'all gotta forgive me. I almost started without <laughs> telling y'all or coming back. This is gonna be the chlorine test. The chlorine test, okay? So, this is just one test for chlorine. And we dip the strip. Dip the strip. Do five seconds. Wait 30 seconds. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, eleven. Okay, so that's pretty obvious, right? <laughs> Zero chlorine, so I don't have any chlorine in my water, y'all. That's amazing, I think. So let's see what they say about chlorine. Total chlorine 4.0, water disinfected. Affects is stomach discomfort. 4.0 is bad, I don't have any chlorine. I mean, I don't have anything disinfecting my water. So I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> <laughs> but that is my chlorine. We ain't got no chlorine, y'all. Is this a Florida thing? Obviously, we're not drinking from Iceland's best. <laughs> but I mean, you know, to know that there's less chemicals is better. Okay. So the last one. So let's do the last test, y'all. Last test is nitrate and nitrite. So here's what this one looks like. Just gray. Top is... Nitrate, bottom is nitrite. Dip one strip into the water. Water samples for two seconds. One, two, that was quick. Remove and wait. Wait two minutes if the water temperature is below 55. I don't know what temperature this is. Wait one minute, so let's wait a minute. Wait a minute. What, wait a minute. What, wait a, hey, hey. I'm still looking at my alkalinity. It's pretty high. Okay, so it's been a minute. Are these supposed to be a different color? I'm confused. Very confused. So they're not purple, okay. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's gray and white. No shades of pink at all. I don't know if you can really tell. So there's zero nitrate and zero nitrite in the water. What those are, I couldn't tell you, but let's find out. What nitrates from fertilizer and animal waste, yuck. They're both 
a source from fertilizer and animal waste. Now the health effects of nitrate is blue baby syndrome, age six and below, illness and death, and nitrite is blue baby syndrome and shortness of breath. So this is something you don't want at all, says the EPA maximum level is 10 and the other is one. I don't have any shades of pink on here, okay? Very thankful for that. We don't have any nitrate or nitrite, which is amazing. Okay, that's good. I mean, I'm not going to grab a glass of water to drink, but I'll keep y'all updated on this bad boy. See y'all in 48 hours. I'll put that at the end of this video. But that was interesting. I'm glad that I did it. Did it like completely put me at ease, this at home kit? No, but it definitely made me feel a little more comfortable um, with my water. So I'm thankful for that, the little things. I'm gonna clean this up y'all, finish the rest of my day, and just remember to be thankful for the simple things. You know, the simple stuff. You know what I miss? You don't know my life. Oh yeah, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. Do it! Share it. Share this video with your friend. That just be drinking tap water out of anywhere like it's just okay to do. Share this with somebody who despises tap water and is like, no, not gonna do it regardless ever. Share this with anybody that you know that might have quality concerns in their water. Share this with somebody who just bought a house and maybe aren't even going to look at the water. They just gonna hop in the shower, start brushing their teeth and, and pray on it. <laughs> Share it. <laughs> Good morning. Let's test. Let's check. The bacteria test. It's actually a little bit later than um, 48 hours because, because I was working when that 48 hour mark hit. We are nice and purple. So no bacteria in the water. Yay! I go out won't. Go I won't. Good. Good. Good.